Unraveling the phrase, go by the board, a comprehensive guide. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, go by the board. This expression might sound a bit puzzling at first, but don't worry, we're here to dissect its meaning and usage together. So, let's dive in. Go by the board is an idiom with nautical origins. It means to be abandoned, dismissed, or ignored. Originally, it referred to masts or sails falling overboard from a ship. Today, it's used more broadly to indicate that something is no longer being considered or has been rejected. For example, after the new evidence was presented, all previous theories went by the board. To fully appreciate this phrase, let's look at its historical context. In the days of sailing ships, if a mast, sail, or anything attached to the side of the ship was lost overboard, it was said to have gone by the board. This was a significant event, often leading to disaster. In modern language, the phrase has evolved to represent the idea of letting go or discarding something, especially plans or beliefs. Let's see how, go by the board, is used in sentences. 1. When the company changed its strategy, the old policies went by the board. 2. His respect for the rules went by the board in his eagerness to get the job done. 3. Due to the financial crisis, many of our planned investments have gone by the board. Understanding synonyms and variations can help grasp the essence of the phrase. Similar expressions include, fall by the wayside, be abandoned, and be disregarded. Each carries a slightly different nuance but revolves around the idea of abandonment or neglect. I hope this video has shed light on the intriguing phrase, go by the board. It's a testament to the rich history and evolving nature of the English language. Remember, Idioms like this add color and depth to our conversations, so don't hesitate to use them. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next language adventure.